Hey guys, welcome back to Past Amazing and today we are going to be talking about 8 types of players that everyone hates. So yeah, basically these are going to be super annoying players in the game and yeah, like you just do not want to deal with these types of people in Clash of Clans. So yeah, let's go and get right into this list. Starting off with the first thing. These are the people who only do one clan games challenge. Like, come on, right? This clan games is supposed to be for the whole clan, everyone's supposed to contribute, and then everybody reaps the rewards at the end. But then there's those people that only do like one or two challenges, and then they get all the rewards, right? So they literally only have to log in for like five minutes, complete a random challenge, and then get all the rewards that everybody else in the clan spent like a week working towards. So this is just super annoying. Now, the most annoying one is when people only do like the easiest challenges in the entire thing. Like, you know, the one that says remove five obstacles in either village? Yeah, that one. The people who only do that challenge and like just completely ditch clan games for the rest of the season, like that is just so annoying. Those challenges, I know they're super easy, but they're supposed to like help you get more points and you know supplement your other challenges that you are doing, like you know actually attacking or actually doing stuff in your base, not just removing five obstacles, which is the easiest thing in the world. So yeah, this is just super frustrating to deal with. All right, moving on to number two on this list. These are the people who ask for a leadership position in the clan pretty much immediately, right? So they're asking for elder or they're asking for co-leader and they've only been in the clan for like a day, right? So like that that's clearly not enough time uh, for the current co-leaders and leader to be able to assess this player and see whether the player is worthy of a promotion. Instead, this player is always asking for promotions and it can get very annoying because, you know, you're supposed to earn your elder and earn your cold year. You're not supposed to ask for it. Sure, maybe if you've been in the clan for like two months and you've been working hard every single clan war, every single clan games, you know, you've done your share in the clan. Uh, but yet these people that ask for co or elder immediately, that can get kind of annoying. All right, number three on this list, another common one. These are the people who only request, but never donate. Like, you know, they're always having these requests in the chat, especially for like big troops, right? This is the most annoying part. When they're asking for these golems and, you know, lava hounds, electro dragons, and all these like heavy troops that take a long time and a lot of resources to train and then donate. They're always asking for these troops but they never donate, or when they do donate, it's donating like random troops, like barbs or archers, right? Like nobody cares about those troops. So yeah, these are the people who have very bad donation ratios. Maybe they received like 2000, but they've only donated 80 or 100, right? And that those ratios just make me so irritated because like everybody is supposed to contribute in the clan. You can't just keep requesting and not expect to do your fair share of the donating. Are moving on to number four. These people ask to opt into war, but then they end up not attacking. Like, how does that make any sense at all? They're literally saying, hey, can you put me in the next war? And then they just don't show up. Like, come on, you opted in for a reason. You even asked to be opted into the war, like especially asked, and then you just don't show up. So like, that's, that's very annoying, not only to like the other members in the clan, but also the leader of the clan who's setting up the clan wars uh, because the leader is expecting this player to attack in the war, but this player just doesn't do their attacks. Now I understand in like a very rare circumstance, there might be an emergency in real life that the player has to miss their attacks, but I'm assuming most of the time this is not the case, right? They're just asking to be in war, thinking they'll be able to get their attacks in, thinking it's just casual and then they end up like forgetting about it or just not attacking uh, or like they think the war is already a lost cause so they don't think it's worth attacking. You know, these are all bad excuses to miss your clan war attacks, especially if you asked like to be opted in. So yeah, guys, if you are opted into war, make sure you guys do your war attacks. Do not make your leaders mad. All right, number five on this list. This is gonna be something for the builder base. These are the people who use sneaky archers, but they deploy them like one by one around the base, you know, slowly taking out building by building. 
Now, the reason this is annoying is because uh, for me, I'm like a builder based guy who likes to use the fast paced strategies and I end up usually finishing my attack before my opponent. But if my opponent's using this slow, sneaky archer strategy and taking like the entire three minutes to do their attack, I'm just sitting there like, what the heck, I'm, I want to move on to my next builder based battle, but I'm stuck in this current one. Now it's even more annoying when I'm on a clock tower potion or I'm using my clock tower boost. It's super annoying because I'm wasting time from that potion or that clock tower boost and I'm just sitting here watching this guy, you know, trying to get the most percentage on my base. It's just like taking so long. Alright, let's move on to number 6 here. These are the people who donate barbarians or archers or like goblins and these low level troops. Uh, to those any requests, right? So you know how sometimes people might request for any troop or like anything and You know when they say any they mean like they don't care and I guess barbs and archers and goblins are part of any But I guess usually people when they say any they want you know good troops, right? People always want good troops uh, so when you request for any and you find out your entire clan castle is filled with goblins and barbarians, you know, like, it's it's just kind of annoying. This is one isn't as bad as the other ones, but still, like, for me, when I request for any, I kind of wish I would get good troops, even though I said any. Uh, so I guess that's a fair point on uh, to play devil's advocate. That's a fair point for the other side. But I don't know. This is just annoying to me. So uh, share your thoughts down below on this. But yeah, we're going to move on to the next thing on this list at number seven. This is the clan leader who gives the clan war league medals to himself or herself, which is bad enough, but then if they have mini accounts in the clan, they stack up all their mini accounts with the bonus medals as well. Come on, like how can a leader just be taking all the medals like that? Uh, so if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, a clan leader or a co-leader at the end of a clan war league season, they can give out bonus medals to a certain number of players. I think it's uh, they can give it out to four players. Uh, it might be different in different leagues. I'm not sure. Uh, but last time I remember, four people in our clan were able to receive bonus medals of I think 75. And it's just really annoying when the leader hops on and gives all those bonus medals to himself or herself, whether it's you know the person's main account or all their mini accounts. Uh, so yeah, this is just really annoying because there's some players that are actually working hard and getting a lot of stars for uh, every clan war league but they're not getting rewarded with the medals just because they aren't a co-leader and they aren't the leader all right now we are on the last thing on this list number eight this is the person on global who keeps friend requesting you even after you deny him or her over and over again now i say global because this usually happens on global chat Although this can obviously happen, you know, elsewhere, but I'd assume like it's less prevalent outside of just global chat. But yeah, this is really annoying whenever you are on global chat. Uh, there's these people that will just try to friend request you, especially if you're like a high level player. Um, but then you'll just keep denying them because you don't want this random player in your friends list. But then they just keep requesting back. So it's like... They request, you deny, they request, you deny, and this is very annoying. That's why I support a solution in the game that allows you to block certain players from actually friend requesting you, or a feature, uh, a similar feature to just completely block anybody from friend requesting your account. Uh, so, you know, I would support these things, and I talked about this in an earlier video uh, that I did a couple days ago. But yeah, this is super annoying uh, when random people try to friend request you and you just do not want them on your list. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed this one. These were 8 types of players that everybody hates in Clash of Clans. And if you guys did like the video, go ahead and give it a like down below. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for all the latest Clash of Clans updates, news, and leaks. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.